Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it comes from a translation of a message that one of our admin received. And the translation reads like this. I have heard people say that everyone out there makes a mistake. But some mistakes, the problem with them is that they stay with you. They shape your life forever. And this one is mine. I was looking for a way out of the a way to hustle, at least to make some money, a way to finally get ahead, and I found myself at the center of a mess that I had created. I lost friends, ruined relationships, and learned the hard way that greed has a price. I remember when it all started, life was tough, and I was tired of making, of barely making it. I felt like everyone else around me was achieving success moving forward while I was stuck in the same place. Month after month, I would scroll through social media, seeing people living the life that I wanted, traveling, eating out, buying new things, and talking about financial freedom. They made it look so easy, so effortlessly, and I was desperate to taste that kind of life. So, when an old friend reached out to me with an opportunity that promised freedom and wealth, I felt like it was the answer to all of my problems. This friend, I will call her Lindy, told me about a network marketing opportunity that had changed her life. She spoke with so much excitement and confidence, telling me how she was making money on her own terms, that she was finally free. The more she talked, the more that I believed in her. So she painted this picture of a community, a family of people working together, building wealth and helping others to do the same. Lindy was invite, invited me to a seminar and promised me that I would see for myself how easy it was to make money if I was going to join the team. The seminar, let me tell you, was quite impressive, I'll admit it. There were people there that were wearing very beautiful clothes and I was really interested and I thought that finally I had arrived and this was where where i wanted to be and while we were there i met this other woman you know it was like maybe god sent because there was something that she said even though i did not listen to her at that time but she was like this thing do you think that it is for real and then she walked away and she had this sadness in her voice as if she was busy fighting with her own brain, whether she was supposed to invest or not to invest. I ignored her and she walked away. I kept on focusing. This is what we do as human beings. We only focus on those that we think have succeeded in life and those that can inspire you, get you excited, make you feel like you are about to become rich. They talked about the importance of positive mindset, your Warren Buffett, how they had managed to become wealthy the way that they are, about not letting go when you have thought about investing, about seizing the moment to change your life. They showed slides of vacations, luxury cars, houses, and testimonials from people who claimed to have gone from nothing to wealth in a matter of months. I had never seen anything like it, and honestly, I was blown away. After the presentation, they talked about the cost of joining. It was not cheap, and I hesitated, but they assured me that this was just a small investment in my future. They said that I would get my money back within a month, that all that I had to do was to bring in a few new members and watch my earnings multiply. I ignored the little voice in my head that warned me that it sounded too good to be true. In that moment, I was ready to believe, ready to do whatever it took to be a part of this opportunity. So I handed over my savings, nearly each and every cent that I had. They told me about investing more and I would see bigger returns. And I wanted to believe that I was making the correct decision, the right choice. I felt excited, proud even, like I had finally taken control of my future. I started messaging friends, family, and anyone I thought would listen. I told them about the amazing opportunity that I had found, invited them to the next seminar, and assured them that this was our ticket to financial freedom. I was convinced 
I was too convinced, Brother Naishi. So when you have that energy, believing that indeed this thing it is going to work out, even when you speak with someone, you will start to convince people that this is for real, yet it was just nothing but a lie. I convinced a lot of people. People trusted me. They joined in because I was so sure of it, so positive that this was a good idea. At first, it was thrilling. My friends joined, their friends joined, and it felt like we were all in it together. We would meet up, share our earnings, talk about how good life was going to be once we all made it big. I started seeing returns in the beginning, and I would show them screenshots, encouraging them to invest more. We were all hyping each other up, fueling each other's excitement, and I felt powerful like I had found a secret formula to success. But soon, the money started slowing down. I stopped getting my returns and my downline. The people that I had convinced to join started asking questions. I reached out to the company and they assured me that everything was fine. There were just minor delays. They told me not to worry, to have faith, they said, in the system. But Brother Nashi, we did not even know that this was just a scam. They kept on telling us to have faith, faith in the system. The people that I had made them to trust me began to panic, asking for updates, some even asking for their money back. I felt the pressure mounting, but I did not want to believe that it was a scam. I could not. I had too much money that I had invested, too many relatives that were relying on me. The company that then said something shocking. They suggested that we invest more to keep the money flowing. They called it a booster package to push the network forward, claiming that it was a temporary measure. I should have known better, but I was desperate. I took out a loan, thinking that I would make it back within weeks. I convinced a few friends to do the same, even those who were skeptical, by telling them that it was just a small hurdle. I told them that I would put my money in too, and I did. I put every last bit of savings, every loan that I had ever borrowed into this so-called opportunity. Then one day, it all came crashing down on me. The company stopped responding. Their phone lines went dead. Their emails bounced back. And just like that, they simply disappeared. And it was really terrible. Everything, my money, my friends, investments, my dreams of wealth vanished in an instant. I was left with a lot of people that I was owing money, angry friends and relatives. I felt like the floor had been ripped out from under me. My friends and family they are furious they want answers some have threatened to take legal action against me others they refuse to speak with me it is really devastating people that i have grown up with i made them to lose so much money over the following months i tried to rebuild my life to make amends where i can but now when i look back i can see how easily i let greed cloud my judgment now I let my own ambition push me into making choice that I am now regretting. I wanted the good life to tell you the truth that was all that I ever wanted. But now I realize that real success, it cannot be brought by building up on these pyramid schemes. To those who want to do this, you need to be very careful. You can lose money in a very short period of time the moment that people i have since learned that once they stop investing money into this scheme then everything will crumble down to the ground and that is exactly what happened and the bad thing about this money making schemes is that you recruit those that trust you and they come and they think that since they trust you this is legit stay away from those type of schemes i beg you Dear listeners, right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our admin who helped us with this translation. Strange things indeed, they do happen in this world. Can you just imagine? Yo.